Have you ever wanted to paint like the masters? Well, it turns out that you can. process of doing master copies, which literally means copying a piece of artwork done by a master in order to learn something. In my own training, I was encouraged to try them. And so I did, and right from the beginning, I found them to be a really powerful learning experience. I've been doing them for over 10 years now, and I found that I learned four main things by doing them. The first thing I learned is that they're incredible confidence builders. And they do this by shifting your perception of yourself and what it is that you think that you can do. If you can accurately draw or paint what a master has done, then you are well on your way to becoming a master yourself. And it actually, it shortens the gap between what it is that you think you can do or believe that you can do and what it is that, that you actually see yourself doing. You begin to think, well, gee, maybe, maybe I can do better than I think I can. And you can, you can actually push the boundaries and push your goals further because of what you see that you're actually accomplishing. The second thing I learned is that they give you autonomy about what it is you want to learn and who you want to learn about on your own. You don't have to go to expensive workshops. You're not bound by accessibility to museums or what's available or what you can afford. Today, with the internet, we have access to all kinds of images and really high quality ones through art image banks. And by working with master copies, it means that you can be learning from some of the greatest creative minds that have ever lived. The third thing I learned is that mastery isn't genius. It's about your intention and it's about incremental growth, a series of steps of just building your skills one step at a time and then setting goals as to just how far you want to push them. It's really, it's up to you. And the fourth, and what I think is the most important thing, is that doing master copies actually changes the way you think. By doing master copies, simply by default, you're forced to deconstruct what it is that they've done, analyze and take a look at how things are done, and then reproduce it. And just that sheer process is going to give you an insight as to how these, these techniques are done. And they will inevitably just become part of your own creative process as well. Also, when you're doing master copies, I would really encourage you to study everything you can about the artist that you're working with. It will give you greater insight into their character, into what it is that motivated them, and move them to actually produce these amazing pieces of artwork. It will open your mind, and it will make you a much stronger artist. In the next three videos, I'm going to address what I learned by copying three masters. Heinrich Hoffman, Rembrandt, and John Singer Sargent. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Be sure to visit my website from the link below where you can download my free studio setup guide. You can also take my free introductory course called Getting You Started with Realistic Drawing.